New to Zeta iOS 1.1, we added full MIDI functionality. Here under the options menu, you can see that we have a whole new MIDI category. The first option you see is channel. From here, you can select which channel Zeta iOS inputs MIDI from. All channels plus Omni are selectable. Next, the inputs menu. Here we have the IK Multimedia iRig hooked up. And from this menu, you can select which MIDI inputs you want to use with Zeta iOS. Next, we added a MIDI clock slave so that you can connect to external sequencers and DAWs and stay in time during your performance. After that, the MIDI learn mode. This is probably one of the most powerful features inside of the new update in Zeta iOS. When you turn on MIDI Learn, you'll see that all the available parameters in the interface stay illuminated. Within here, we have the MIDI Learn configurations, which allows you to load different configurations. You can save your configurations, or you can clear them, just like that. To use the new MIDI Learn capability, first let's load a MIDI Learn configuration. The blue parameters are already mapped. In order to map a parameter in the MIDI Learn, click a parameter, and then simply turn the knob on your controller and it will automatically map. To map multiple parameters to a single knob, click multiple parameters in the interface and then turn a knob. And you can see that all three will change at the same time. 